go on YouTube. So I got a question, and I have somebody that's going to join us today. Uh, he, he called me out. He reached out to me, and he was like, Dante, how do you do it? How do you run a successful business and work almost a full-time job? I said, give me a call tonight, and we'll talk about it. So, today I want to talk about is how to run a successful business and have a part-time job. Because, honestly, truthfully, it's a lot of work. And a lot of people, like Seth, they're very blessed to be able to, um, to quit your job. I'm not at that status yet. So, if you guys need more information, Seth's Lawn Surgeon has a lot of good, in, in, a lot of good advice about that. Also, there's a lot more people online that you can go to and check out. That will definitely give you a lot of insight on when's a good time to let go of the job. As of right now, I don't feel it's a good time for me to let go of my job because my business is not drive, driving, I should say it's not driving where it can be on autopilot yet and actually make that money consistently. Because right now, when the summer comes here, I make really good, consistent money. So, you got to ask yourself three questions. Second question you need to ask yourself. I don't care what I really want to do. Is owning a business something I really want to do? Being away from the family all the time, long hours, working every day from 9 to 9. Is that something you really want to do? Or just go and get that job at Walmart or that eight hour tip and go home. Work check to check, stress your life out, wonder if bills are gonna be paid on top of COVID-19. I don't know. A lot of options here. A lot of things to think about. But right now, right now, I'm working two jobs. It seems to fit me and work my best interest. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's going all right. So, um, man, it's been a long day, so I'm a little tired between working at Walmart and doing some quotes today. So, first of all, I just wanted to know, I'm on my YouTube channel, so you'll be on the YouTube channel, and you said, cool, is that? Okay. Just a quick insight for people, like... Your name and how you got your business started, real quick. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Danny Usman, and uh, <clears throat> I worked in retail as a manager in retail for 20 years. Um, and I started, I was doing my uh, business part time, and finally I just said I'm gonna give 100% and I went 100% in the long term business. So you just literally just quit your job and just went 100%. Yeah, what happened was that I was, uh, since I was uh, I was a retail manager for 20 years, so within that, after work, I did my business part-time. So after work, uh, the weekends when I was off, and then uh, once I got a couple of commercial contracts, uh, I just quit my I just quit the retail uh, job and then uh, just went 100% on my business. Okay. So the question you have is, since you're 100%, how do I do a full-time job? Yeah, like how do you do your, your job at Walmart and uh, and also do long-term business? Because I know I 
tried it and it was just I couldn't I couldn't do it. Okay, so I have a couple different factors that you might not. You have kids. You have kids? Yes, I have kids. Exactly. And so not a bad thing. That's pretty awesome. But so with me not having kids, it leaves my time really open compared to having to do like, you know, schools and homework and activities and all that. So right there, I got that type of free time. Um, but how I do it is I go at my job, like say I'm at Walmart right now. And when I went to Walmart, I told them, look, I do landscaping. Landscaping and my job is my number one priority because it's my future. So when I tell them I'm going to do just my um, Walmart job, I'm like, I can only do like two days out of the week because you know with your lawn care company, how long you've been doing it? Oh, I've been doing it like 15 years. Okay, so you know in your grind time, like when it's really going good, it's like you don't got time for another job. Because you're just moving Absolutely. and moving and moving. So, like, when it gets that time, like, summertime, spring and fall, I work, like, two days up there. Why do I work there? I don't know. I probably don't even need to work at Walmart. But, uh, I work there. And the reason I work there this year is because I just moved out to Georgia. And I, you know, I relocated from Michigan. And I moved out here. And... Walmart was basically just to kind of float me through the winter because I wasn't sure what to expect out here. Well, on top of that, I'm sorry, I'm just getting adjusted. That's okay. So, um, on top of that, I just, like I said, went into Walmart. I said, my business is my main priority. I'm not going to ruin my business because I'm going to work around Walmart. No. I said, here's my schedule, or you need to give me a schedule, and... I need you to work around my landscaping company. And they were like, cool. If they weren't going to, I was just going to have to accept it and move on and tell them I can't work there. Because I have a friend named uh, Brad from Easy B in Michigan. And he used to work at uh, uh, it's a restaurant. I can't, I can't think of the name of it. Um, Cracker Barrel. And... I asked him the same thing, the same question you asked him, I asked him, I was like, hey, how do you do two jobs, and you keep your insanity, and you have a girlfriend, and you know you're always doing things, he's like, I work, I work three days, and then I usually pay somebody to take my shift, and then as the business goes bigger, I cut my hours down, and I kind of just cut my hours down as the business goes bigger, and I've been there so long, they kind of don't care. And that's how this was for me at Walmart. So, if you're at that job, or whatever job you have, if you have a little bit of seniority or a little bit of pull, it makes it easier. So, how to do your job and do your landscaping, it would be you'd have to do your landscaping, which are, it'd have to be the first priority on your list, and then your job, I'm getting both tongue-tied, your job would just have to be like a floater. So, you couldn't... You couldn't have that, like, you don't want to rely on it. You just want to have it as a floater. If they're not going to let you float it, then you're going to have to just let it go. If you're really you into the long hair. Like, how do you have that mindset? Because I know when I was uh, doing uh, my job and then I had my business, I was like, man, what am I doing here? I'm locked up, I'm here. And when you own your business, you're more free, you're more happy. And when I was indoors, I was just miserable. I was doing retail and I was like, oh my god, I, I need to leave, I need to, I should be doing landscaping, like, yeah. how was your mindset working well, with that? So, Walmart, I don't look at it as, like, locked up because, like, I'm moving around. I'm not sitting over, but, I mean, I don't like someone telling me when I take a break, someone telling me when I gotta use the bathroom, gotta ask permission, I don't like that. It's just, yeah. it's, it's crazy, I don't like having to know, like, oh, my check's gonna come on this day, and, I, I mean, I work for that money now. Uh, I don't know about the mindset. The mindset is just, I know that it's a short-term job being at Walmart. And because my mind knows that I'm building a foundation for my business, I can deal with it. Like, if I was, like, at Walmart and I knew I had to work at Walmart and I had to do my grass, 
I'd be mad. I'd be like, man, I gotta do two jobs just to make things happen. But I know that my business will basically satisfy everything in my business, everything in my life that I need to and more at one point. But right now, because I'm so new, and like I said, I've only been out here eight months. I've been out here eight months and my business is jamming. But it was all flyers, 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 and, and knocking on doors and talking to people and, and people seeing my work. But I can't really feel like I'm trapped at Walmart because, like, trapped when I'm working because I know I'm not going to do this forever. So I know there's an end eventually. Yeah, because I've seen you, like, uh, post videos in the morning. Oh, 7 in the morning, I did a, a yard before Walmart. I'm like, wow, like, that takes a lot to do it. That was something that I wasn't able to do. If I did a yard, I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I'm doing yards. I don't want to go to whatever job I have. I'm want to keep doing my long care business that's what I want to do so me going in doing my long care business and then having to do the the retail it just it killed me so that's why I was like how do you how I wasn't able to do it that's why I'm like I admire that you do that I'm like I wasn't able to it was you just too kind of well the only reason I can do it is like I said because like this landscaping company, this lawn care business of mine, is my heart, my soul, is my everything, my all my drive. So, if it's all my drive, it's all my drive. Like, um, whatever I have to do to make this scrape off the ground and go into flotation and flying and go into autopilot, I'm gonna make it happen. That means I gotta get up. I mean, it means I gotta get up. Do I want to get up in the morning? At five o'clock and be at that house dropping my deck at six o'clock at the at Gibson's. No, but I know I have to get it done because I have to be at Walmart. And then right. I after Walmart the following day, like today, I went and did quotes. I uh, everyone that called me wanted me to uh, do the yard. I had to go do quotes. So when I got to Walmart, I ran around and did quotes. That's why I got back here late. But it stinks because. I'm running around, I'm running around, but the overall picture is what I'm always keeping in the top of my head. So that's where my drive comes from. It's just I know what my business is. I know the potential of what my business can be. Absolutely. And see me, like, I, I did retail for 20 years. I was a manager. I, I thought I got paid good, which, you no, know, once I got into the long term business, like, man, I can make this much money. Like, wow. And that, that's when I dedicated myself fully to my business, you know? It's because we're accustomed to having a check. Oh, every Friday I get my check. And, but when you own your, you start owning your own business, your mindset changes. You always have money. Your money changes. It's 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 a beautiful thing. Your life changes, you know? Yeah, I, I can definitely vouch on that when your life does change. Like, I mean, look, I'm in Georgia. I live in, the, in Michigan, and now I'm in Georgia. And it's all due to my longer business. I couldn't do this. With Walmart, it cost, it was costing me so much money to move down here, it cost me all this. I'd be just irritated, frustrated, and then I talked to everyone at Walmart, and they're, they're literally miserable. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, when I s sit on lunch, I sit in that lunchroom, and I just look at everyone. And I just sit there, and I just kind of look at everyone. Like, everyone here, at one point in time, has told me how they, you know, they like their job, but they really hate it. Like, they don't enjoy coming to work. They just come here because they have to, because they have bills, food, and kids. And I'm just like, and I sit there, and I'm like, how can they hang 20-year badges, um, 15 years, you know, so many years up there, and they just don't like it. And I just like, I can't live that lifestyle. Like, if I don't like, like my dad told me, if you don't like it, you're out. If you're not moving up, you're moving out. If you're not making progress, you're out. Yep. See, in me, I had a difficult transition because I was doing that for 20 years. I was scared of running my business. I was. I didn't know what to expect. And nobody. I didn't grow up saying, "Oh, you can run your business. You can make money. You can do that." I. I didn't grow up like that. I grew up. You have to get a job. You have to move up. You have to live that life. So when I decided to go full time with my business, it was like, wow. It was almost scary for me because I didn't think it was real. I was like, is this temporary? Is this for real? Like, it was scary for me for a while. So, back to what you're saying, you grew up with, like, not knowing, like, this is actually possible? Yes. Actually, I, I, yes. 
but that's you, you brought a good a good point up. So like when I grew up, my mom my mom's always like, you know, you gotta go to college, you know, you, you gotta make something of yourself, you can't just you know, you gotta have a career and, and I understand what she was saying, but like me I'm like, no, there's something else in there, there's something else and I couldn't I couldn't picture myself just sitting behind a computer all the time or something. I gotta get my hands dirty, I gotta get into it. And um I don't know, just it's, it's just something about the long care. Like just I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's it's yeah. scary because hold on, I don't wanna hang up on you. Um, it's scary because like when I moved out to Georgia I had a pretty decent lawn care business in Michigan, but like, I'm not going to say it was nothing really to brag about. I mean, it was, but it was, you know, it was still in the making. So now, I came all the way out here and started my business from scratch. So, that right there alone was just scaring me because I didn't know what to think. You know, I'm like, am I going to make it? Am I going to, like, like you're thinking, it, I'm like, I'm going to come out here, I'm going to be broke, I'm going to be, I mean, and it's, a lot of things happened. I came across some things, but, yeah, I was, I was freaked out. I started my bath, my, my business because uh, I just grabbed the minivan, grabbed a mower, I built a trailer, uh, literally built a trailer from scratch, and threw my mower and everything in there, it was small, it's a little dinky trailer. It was like a snowmobile trailer. I put some walls on it, held trebles and stuff like that. I have a video on that one. And um yeah, I was freaked out. I was like and then I'm driving down and I'm like, what am I doing? Like I don't know no one out here. I don't know have no family out here. I don't have nothing. Like what am I doing? I just know the weather's good and I feel I can make the money. So I know what you say when you're saying it's freaking Thank you. Huh? What made you move over there to Georgia? Yeah. The the weather. I got tired of I got tired of only being able to cut grass for like four or five good months, and then it's snow, rain, and leaves. Okay. So I decided to, I decided to do it. I decided to jump in the car and and make the decision. And you know I prayed on it and thought about it for three years, but like I said, I just was not happy. I wasn't making the money I wanted. I had to work three to two jobs. Um. It just wasn't, it, it wasn't for me. It wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted to do. And right. when you, when it's scary, that's good because you're pushing yourself to do different things. If you were comfortable and relaxed and chilled, then you really would be making basic money. You'd be making $20,000 a year like an average person at a fast food restaurant, McDonald's, any Target, something like that. But... You're saying it's scary because it's scary because you're actually pushing your limits. You're actually thinking like you're, you're putting your toes in water. You don't really want to put them in, but you're gonna put them in because you're like I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I'm hungry. You're getting out of your comfort zone. Yep. So it's not really like how do I do the whole Walmart thing. Morally, the moral loss is just I know what the bigger picture is. And because I know the, and because I know the bigger picture is, that is my basically hurrah in my head. Like I'm gonna, that's my my point. Like when I get there, then it's gonna start all over. Cause I'm gonna be like, I'll be having like, as soon as I have people, I'm already having people work with me. But as soon as I get to where I think I want to be, then I'll be like, no, I want to get this. I want to get this. I want to do this. I want four more trucks. So I'm gonna be like, now nah, I'm gonna go back to that mode again. And I won't be happy till I get to that level. So it's like you're always going to have that in the back of your head, that scary thought. And plus, you don't want to fail. Nobody want to fail. Absolutely. And that's why I've been, and that's why I tell you, because, like, it's scary for me, like, in the winter. I'm like, man, you know, I'm like, what am I going to do? And thankfully, like, I, I'm, I'm from El Paso, Texas, so our weather is not bad all year round. So there's always work. Maybe two months that you're very, very slow. But the rest, there's always a lot of work. So I've always thought, like, I want to get a part-time job because I've been so scared. But every time that I try to get a part-time job, my heart is not in there. I just want to do my business. And I, I think that if I get a job, I'm wasting my time. So my mindset is very different, you know? Yeah, well, I only work. So, okay, so picture like this. 
do you have a schedule with your lawn care service, or do you just work? I just work like I'll, I'll okay, work so in the morning. I I skip day, but I'll work like so I till it gets dark. So that's how I used to do it. I used to work my butt off like night and day, and um, I actually I watched a lot of Keith Calvis and Seth Lazer and all them, and Brian, and they just you have to have a system. You have to have some type of a system because if you realize it, you're probably working all day. You're probably doing a lot of extra stuff that you probably don't need to do, like like extra driving, extra traveling, extra, you know. There's probably uh, so if you get a like a solid schedule. I know you have a schedule because obviously you need to go cut, but like I had a schedule which I thought I did, but it wasn't as tight. Like you need a tight schedule. I got my schedule so tight. I did a YouTube video, I believe. I was like, I had a day off. Like, I didn't know what to do with myself. Like, all the work was done. Everything was done. I, I, I had a legit day off. Like, I really didn't have to go sharpen blades because those were, it was, I was due to do that on Wednesday. So I was sticking to my schedule. I use Yardbook. Yardbook's what I use to keep everything organized. I don't know what type of system you use. Jobber, Yardbook, or just pen and paper. Just pen and paper. I'm, I'm still old school. <laughs> you should try Yardbook. It would make your life way easier okay I'll look it, at it's that. i mean the old school is one thing but if you're going to do landscaping and you're trying to grow your business it's not really keeping up with the joneses but you got to keep up with social media and everything's in social media everything on your phone i mean it's just it's 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 there i mean when you go to a customer's house they're going to probably i don't know how many people pay with checks they used to but a lot of people are like cash app or a credit card or you know it's it's moving up and you got to keep up with everyone so you can be in that same loop when you're getting paid. Yeah, I use a square so I just bill them, invoice them, and then they on um, email and then they'll pay me through there, you know. Yeah, I used to do the square and um, the square is cool, uh, but like I said, a lot of people were getting nervous about sliding their um, card on my phone, but then they got kind of got over it, but like with Cash App, it's the bank. I don't know. It's just everyone out here uses Cash App, and they just put me onto it, and I've been doing it now. Okay. And um, but well, I, a credit card machine would probably be a lot more professional. Right. I've been following you probably uh, probably a year, maybe over a year. I've been following you and uh, watching your videos, and uh, you know, I've seen the work that you do and everything. So you know, I kept seeing you. Oh, I'm going to Walmart. I'm like, what the heck? How does he do that? Like, like that was just, I was just so curious, and then I was like. Man, I was amazed at that, to be honest with you. Because I couldn't do it. I'm like, I don't know how he does it. I want to find out. Everyone at Walmart asks me, why are you here? <laughs> Everyone at Walmart, they're like, Dante, you literally just made my check in like a day. Like, why are you here? Like, honestly, I, I, I'm, I have a little scared with the winter. Like, out here... Last year, it slowed down so much, I was only making like 30 bucks a day. I was only cutting like okay. one yard. Because I didn't know nobody. You know, I didn't have business yet. It wasn't really good. I didn't have any customers. So I was like, I'm going to work at Walmart next year just as a, a fallback. But right. I don't need it because this summer, all the flyers and all the stuff I put out, it's like, I got mad work. Like, I'm still working. I, I literally could quit Walmart. And I mean, I got work. To keep me occupied till mowing season comes, but I wasn't expecting it, so I just kept Walmart in my pocket just in case, because I didn't want to like get rid of Walmart and then I'm making no money. And then throughout the last year, you know, I have a more payment now. I have insurance. I have business insurance. You know, I have you know the new equipment. I didn't want to have all this stuff, and then the three months of downtime, I lose it all because I'm not having money coming in. Absolutely. So I went. I just kept Walmart in my pocket. Try to find a seasonal job. Um, that would also work too. Something like in the wintertime you go back, and then in summertime you leave. And then also, you can do is just work the weekends on your job, because you'll be surprised how many jobs will hire you just for the weekend. Because a lot of people don't want to work the weekend. So if they know you're going to work the weekends, they're going to it gives two it gives another person off on the weekends. So then you have the weekends, and if you you can cut all your stuff in a weekday, from Monday to Friday, you can you can keep your schedule and your business running. 
it's just you're not going to have as much time but I have a couple questions you've been doing your business for 15 years yes so you're somewhere along the line you should be able to have that extra money to put up for the winter to float on yeah it was kind of difficult um I was in a bad marriage, so I had to pay everything. It was a burden. I feel you. I've been already a, probably a year and a half, and uh, my life has changed dramatically. But yes, now it's different. Because before it was like, uh, you know, when you're in a bad marriage, you just, everything goes bad for you. No, I understand. I understand. I was just wondering because I'm like, 15 years is a big time. But then like, I like, yeah. I always said, like, your first five years. It's mainly all hiccups, bumps, and then after five years, it's like, okay, shit got to get serious now. And after the next five years, the shit ain't serious, then you need to be like, you know what, maybe this ain't for me. But and I feel you. If it was, uh, I was in a marriage and I was telling her, look, look, I'm going to quit this job and I'm going to do 100% of my, my business. I want to do that. She's like, no, don't do that. Like, I didn't have that backbone, that support yeah. system my life so that's why I didn't do it a long time ago and that's right now that I did it I'm like wow I should have done this 15 years ago but I didn't have that supporting cast work and I really didn't need it I should have made the decision on my own but I didn't you know when you're married you, you seek approval or what have you or whatever but, but it's not really seek approval it's just you want to make sure you guys are on the same page and you guys yeah. both agree yes. on it but I, I feel you because like um I just lost my train of thought of what you were just saying. I literally just lost my train of thought. Because I was listening to, like, the whole marriage part, so, um... Yeah, because that, that's why it's very important that, you know, you have somebody that's going to be behind you, because that would have been a difference for me in my, in my long-term business even more so, because if I would have had that support, I would have been a hundred... I would have done this a whole long time ago. But so, I didn't have that. It's not, that's not an excuse. I should have made my own choice. But, I mean, it is what it is. And now I'm like, I would never do that again. <laughs> no, I feel I feel what you're saying. Because, so, I was in a couple of relationships where, like, so I worked a lot. And then they're like, we never have money. So I work more. And then, like, I never see you. So then I don't work that much. And like, we don't have money. So I'm like juggling back and forth, back and forth. Like, like we don't ever have money. And I'm like, okay, so let me go get, I'm working three jobs. And they're like, I don't ever get to see you. And then I'm like, well, let me cook some of my jobs. So it was like, I was juggling back and forth. That's why when I came to Georgia, I said, I'm coming to Georgia and I'm only focusing on my long care business and I'm not focusing on nothing else. I mean, I lived here, I've been here almost two years. A year and a half. I don't have, I mean, I only have friends I know from like Walmart, but I don't know people. People don't come to my house. I don't have, yeah, I don't really do too much. I have my friends that, you know, I go get flowers and stuff with because I'm getting into flowers out here. There's a lot of cool stuff out here, flowers. And my money is in flower beds and, and uh, bushes. So I'm trying to learn right. more about these flowers because there's so much I don't know about them out here. But, uh, yeah, I just, I was working so many jobs. So now I'm out here and I'm like, I'm only, I mean, my business is my only priority. Till it gets the foundation built and it gets good and solid, then I'll start kind of building a life around it. But I'm not going to tower down because uh, I have a friend out here and he wants to start a landscaping company. And I have another friend in Michigan. He did uh, pressure washing and... Uh, yeah, they don't do their business no more because their wife's like, you need to get a real job and da 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 and because it was taking off slow and bills need to be paid and so they didn't pursue their whole their dream of doing their business. And I have a feeling down the road they're gonna be like, Man, you know what, I should have stuck with it. But yes. now they're working whatever they're working. And that's where I say you can't just you know, you're like, I was getting her approval or whatever, you're, or you're getting the approval. But really, if, if you would have kept it up, you would have probably just went to a job and just said, bump it. Yeah, and you would have just been working a regular job and just doing cutting grass like as like a side gig, not even a job, but as a side gig, like just some pocket money. Yes, spending money. 
So how's your business doing now with since it's been over the marriage oh. and everything and now you're back and you're in the flow and you're getting more Oh, it's been beautiful. Like I have money in the bank. I mean I don't have a home but I have money in the bank. I bought a new vehicle. I'm able to do the things that I wanna do. Like I don't I don't have to worry about like, oh am I gonna pay my rent this month? Like I feel more I'm more free. I'm more free. Yeah. I'm able to pay all my bills and, and still be good, you know, and and that's why I'm like, Wow, I should have done this a long time ago. I have more now than I've ever had in my life. I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, like, because sometimes, sometimes, like, I'd be like, man, I feel, sometimes I feel guilty charging what I charge, but people are charging almost more than me, and I'm not a lowballer, but I don't feel I'm cheap, but I'm like, people are charging more than me still, and I'm like, if I don't do it, the next man's going to take it, and I mean, I'm at this house now, I got this new mower, and I'll be at this house for like, 30, 20 minutes, and I'm done. 70 bucks. Yep. Honestly, I tell people, like, man, I can't believe I get paid for this. It's beautiful. Like, and it's relaxing. You get to um, be outside. If you want to go to the store, you get to buy a bunch of new toys all the time. This is, your life changes. I can, um, before when I was in retail, I never ate breakfast. Now, I can go to the gym. Then I go home, make breakfast, then I go do my business. Lunch time, I'm at my house making lunch, then I go do my business again. If I have a date or whatever, then I go stop and I go do that. Now I have a life, and then I'm able to still to make money. My business is growing, and, you know? And I think what it was is people respond when you, they know that you're 100% committed. Because I was never 100% committed till I finally let go of everything, and I think that's when my business blew up. People responded more. No, I think I think you responded more when you realize you're 100 percent committed. True. Well, yeah, that's true. I think you you took yourself more serious. Yeah, I put more confidence in myself because before it's like, oh, why are you gonna quit your job? You've been there 20 years. They pay you good, and I'm like, yeah, but uh, you know, I do some jobs in the weekend, and I make more than my paycheck. Like, yeah. why am I gonna, you know? That's what was confusing me because I was getting working all week in my retail job. And I would work the weekend, and I make more money on the weekend than I did the whole week. And I'm like, really? Like, oh, there's no, there's no way. That's how I am at right now. Walmart, like, they're just like, you make, you make more than in the neck in what forty minutes sometimes. I mean, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yep, it sure is. But yeah, I just wanted the info because like I, I see your post, and I'm like, wow, I, I do admire that. You I've been following you for a while. I follow a lot of guys, but like I've, I've been following you for a while, and then like I, I've always seen that your work ethic, and then you go to Walmart, and I'm like, wow, like I yeah. just want to know what he, what he does that, you know? You know. The only reason I do it is because at the end of the day, I want to I'm gonna close my eyes and be like, my business is gonna be good, and like I just know it, it's gonna be there. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. But like I said, it, it's it's been a bumpy road. Man, it's been, you have 15 years, I know, but I mean, between trucks breaking, mowers breaking, not having employees, like, um, yeah. just overwhelmed with work, overwhelmed with no work, it's like, there's no middle level. No, oh, but that keeps you on your toes, that, that keeps me on my toes because, uh, oh man, I need to work or I eat, if I don't work, I don't get paid, like, I have to push yourself more, it's very different. <coughs> business, your mindset is very different. Like when you have a job, eh, I don't want to motivate. I got my job, on, I got my paycheck on Friday. But when you ain't got that paycheck on Friday, oh shit, I gotta get up, I gotta go home, I gotta do this, I gotta do whatever it takes to, I gotta get paid. Yep, I understand. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. Um, I, I have that feeling when I'm at Walmart. Like when I wake, like tomorrow, I gotta be at Walmart at seven in the morning, and I'm just already like. I don't want to go. And then I got to do an invoice tonight for a cleanup and get a tour. And I I told her I'd get a tour like at 5 o'clock today, but after work, they get talking at these um, estimates. They keep talking and want to add more stuff so it goes longer than I uh, 
anticipated. So, I don't know. Overall, it's good that you got money in the bank. You're making good cuts. You, you have the same customers, or do you got to keep getting new clients? Like, do they leave? Oh, yeah. Same kind of tell for a very long time since I started my business. I lost some because I did have to raise my prices. Because you know when you start your business, you're low-balling. You just want that customer. So I kind of raised my prices, and, uh, and they, they call me back eventually. But yeah. it's like I tell them, like, I low ball them for so long, and it's not their fault. It's my fault. But now that I raise my prices, they're like, oh, no, I don't want to pay that. Or, you know. So... It's not, I look at low wine as like, it's not that it was low wine, it's like when I first started, and probably when you first started, like some people say it's low wine, but like me, it was like, I didn't have the confidence to be like, hey, I'll cut your yard for $40, hey, I'll cut your yard for $75. I felt like, who's going to pay me that to do this? Like, so I was yes. like, hey, I'll cut your yard for like 10 bucks. I'll cut your yard for like, so when I was doing that, I was cutting people's yards for $20 and 15 bucks thinking like, and because awesome, that man. basically got over on me, but it's cool because you know no one else is going to cut for 20 bucks, but I was new, you took advantage of it, it is what it is, but it's 40 bucks now, and he was like, I got you. Absolutely. Because I realized it, I'm like... I'm like, I'll say 40 bucks all day. I don't care what the property, how small it is. 40 bucks is my minimum. If I'm not making 40 bucks an hour, <clears throat> that's my minimum. I'm just cutting. I'm not saying flower beds. When it comes to flower beds, I charge 100 bucks an hour to 85 an hour. Yep. And I never charged that for a flower, flower bed. I used to charge 35 bucks an hour a flower bed. And then what happened was I was paying for materials. So I was getting nervous. I was like... Why am I paying for materials? Because I gave them their quote. And I didn't have enough cash to pay for everything. Yep. Because I was learning, I didn't know how to do quotes. I didn't know how to do quotes. I didn't know how to do any of that. Yep. Well, all right. I mean, uh, thank you for your feedback. Um, I mean, I want to keep in contact with you if I ever have questions. Because I'm still learning as well. I don't got this. Trust me, I'm, I'm learning. Uh, but I just, I keep it moving and I... I always do what you do. I ask questions. I educate myself. I yep. I look, Google, I search, I YouTube, I I find I try different things. Even if I is I don't like doing it, I'm gonna try it and then what's the worst yep. can happen? So if I don't really know how to do something, I'll almost do the job for free. A just to get my hands into it. And then I can take some pictures and post about it. And then I, you know, then it's not like, if it turns out too bad, I'm like, hey, it was free. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But all right, I'm going to keep your contact information. Um, if I ever have questions, if it's okay, if I reach out to you. Yeah, hit me up any time, man. Hit me up just to shoot and breathe. I do not care. I mean, right. I'm always, there's a bunch of us, like I said, you've been on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of us this. It, you have you you been to the X, uh, the GIE Expo? No, not yet. I what? No, I haven't. Okay, so me and Seth, the lawn surgeon, we always get a um hotel. I mean, we get a um Airbnb house, and then um my boy Brad from Michigan, he comes out there, and we're doing it this year, more than likely if they're, if they're having it outside of the Corona, if they get that in a spin. So keep tabs on me, and I'll um. I already, we already got our tickets bought. Our tickets are already bought for the expo. Okay. So, I mean, it's not much. If you get it soon, it's not much. I think like 30 bucks. But, I mean, okay. you're going to get so much information, so much free stuff. I mean, it's you're going to get to... It, it's awesome. I mean, yeah, it's I awesome. Yeah, I've been years. I've been years, but like I said, I was married. I wasn't able to do it. It's like a big kid's play. Hey, Ke Keith Kauf is married. Him and wife are trying to go all the time. Brian's yeah. landscaping. Brian from Detroit. Him and his wife go all the time. Yeah, but that when you have a supporting cast, yeah, the zone is all different. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes you gotta re rethink your reevaluate yourself and the people around you. That's why I only exactly. I only put myself around people. Like it's funny. Like I used to be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bar Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe Sunday. You know, I was like, that. Now I'm like. I, I look for people who are entrepreneurs, 
doing landscaping, doing brickwork. I only hang around people who are doing the same as I'm doing because the, the, you're not going to bring me down, nor you're going to bring me up. You're just, we're going to learn from each other. Or what am I going to learn? What am I going to learn how to do a keg stand at the bar? <laughs> so, so I only push myself around people who are pushing themselves. And if I feel you're not pushing yourself, I don't. It's not like, a, oh, I'm better, I'm not hanging. I just, if I don't feel you're pushing yourself at the level that you need to push yourself, I don't associate with that because, I mean, my dad always says, you're kind of the people, you, the company you hang with. And I used to say, no, I'm not. If I want to hang with them, I'm not going to be with like them. But I, I understand now that I got older what he means by that. And it works, yes. I, it's really working well with the business, like, like me and you. Uh, just sitting back. Uh, she wouldn't breathe about, you know, the business and all that, but, like, a lot of knowledge is being passed back and forth at the same time. Absolutely. So. All right, I'll keep in touch, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, I'll definitely be good talk to you. I'll definitely, I'll definitely talk to you before the next couple of days. All right? Sounds good. Take care. All right, have a blessed day. end of the month, at the end of the week, I was making almost double what I was working at, at making at my job. So to me, I'm like, I'm making more than I'm working at my job, and I'm coming for ten dollars. So I'm like, this is good. You know, I didn't think about it, but then I started thinking on my overhead and gas, and now I had to buy equipment because I'm getting more customers and more people like my work. And then I'm like, now I gotta get a bigger trailer and a better truck. And I didn't think about all that. Now I'm cutting people's yards for ten dollars, and my friends are cutting the same properties for seventy dollars. Yep. So I'm like, yeah, let me recal, let me recalibrate myself with her. So the next year, I told all my customers my minimum what is uh, forty five. My minimum is 45 bucks, and I don't cut for less than 45 and I mean, that's probably still low. And the guy's like, 45 that's a bit steep. I said, look, we can both met. You know you got a good deal out of me. All right, man. Right now I'm in the room where we keep all of our extra stuff, all of our supplies. I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. It was a pretty good video. It was pretty cool that I got to have the... Um, the extra help on the page. Um, he gave a lot of good input. <clears throat> had a lot of good questions. And honestly, we just had a lot of good fun. It was a good video. Look forward to doing more videos like this. I'll talk to you guys later. This is Triple D's Long Care. We're out.